Okay, so welcome back to our crypto review of the week in which we look at uh, crypto technology um, from a, an investor's point of view. Um, if, like me, you're a retail investor, um, a lot of the information out there will be very confusing and um, contradictory at times. So what we tend to do on this channel is I use the um, pleasant management skill of SWOT analysis, that is strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Uh, to look at whether a uh, technology is uh, worth investing in. So this week we're going to look at the um, interesting um, and uh, original XRP uh, from Ripple Labs. Um, this one is controversial to some, it is interesting to others and is a dead duck to a large number of people. But for its loyalists, um, it is the future. Um, so we're going to start going through all that. But first, a word from our sponsors. So XRP feels like it's been around for absolutely ever. Um, it started, in, it was released by Ripple Labs back in 2012. Um, it is a described as a real-time growth settlement system. Um, that is uh, the ambition is to replace SWIFT, which is a, an ancient um, method for fiat currencies being um, exchanged between countries all over the world. Now, from a technical point of view, um, the XRP coin um, or token is incredibly efficient uh, when it comes to any consumption, uh, with the actual entire system being uh, comparable to using emails. Um, as we go forward, you only have to look at other cryptocurrencies. These are considered to be um, quite energy intensive and there is a, a lot of uh, pressure to uh, move away from those or modify them um, or squeeze out the coins that aren't going to do very well because they are so energy intensive. You're going to see this with a lot of the old coins coming up, uh, but I think with the um, XRP token, I think this works in its favor. Our third uh, great strength, I think, is the uh, community behind it. There are a lot of loyalists who believe that this is the future. This is the thing that's going to replace the Swiss system. Um, uh, it might not go to the moon, but it is definitely one of those things where um, there is general consensus that as time more and more organizations, more banks, more countries will adopt this as their main uh, method of exchanging fear between each organization and each country. Now, the primary weakness for uh, the XRP token um, is the sheer volume of them that are out there. Now, obviously, if you want to be uh, the token that replaces SWIFT, you're going to need a lot of currencies out there and lots of um, tokens out there. Uh, this has a, an incredible amount, which basically means the, the actual value of each token probably has an upper limit. Uh, there is a ceiling for this. Um, so if you are planning to invest in it, just remember this isn't a go to the moon. This is more kind of go to orbit. Um, kind of currency. Uh, this isn't a uh, replacement for gold, this isn't a replacement for uh, commodities or oil or anything uh, as, as Bitcoin and Litecoin and um, some uh, even Ethereum believe that they'll end up going. Uh, this is simply a uh, modern uh, banking system that will uh, come into uh, effect at some point in the future that will allow everybody to uh, send their money abroad instantly without any time delays whatsoever. Now at this point, if you're still watching, you're going to be chomping at the bit thinking, why haven't I mentioned the SEC? Well, quite simply because that doesn't come into a weakness of the actual instrument itself. Uh, this is an external threat and we'll discuss that in threats uh, as we go forward. So what are the opportunities then for Ripple Labs and the XRP uh, token? Uh, we're just going to concentrate on the token itself from this point of view. Uh, a lot of cryptocurrency can move off into NFTs um, and various other uh, uh, things, but this wasn't designed for that. This was designed to replace Swift. This is its opportunity. Um, the guys at Ribble Labs, um, from what I've read, uh, various uh, commentaries that I've come across, have all said that uh, there is a lot of communication between Ripple Labs um, and organizations all over the world to very slowly bring this currency in. Um, as well as obvious conspiracy theories that um, this is already the case uh, and that uh, this is going to be taking over at some point in the future to replace SWIFT. Whether it's true or not, I don't know, but there is so much optimism about th where this is going that I think um, has a good solid future. So, the threats. 
there is only really one threat to XRP. Um, yes, there are lots of other coins out there, but the main threat is coming from uh, the Security and Exchange Commission in America, which uh, doesn't recognize cryptocurrencies uh, entirely as, as currencies. Um, they uh, are starting to refer to them as securities. Now, what we're waiting for is a settlement uh, to occur um, over there, which will allow XRP to be traded openly um, alongside um, other non-securities uh, as they should be. This will allow it to expand rapidly throughout the entire um, banking system across the world um, and the price is better reflect where it should be. Um, it's amazing how much power America does have to actually slow down uh, the opportunities that are there. So in conclusion, uh, XRP is uh, a well-established um, cryptocurrency. It uh, Technically, it is uh, quite strong, quite sound, uh, quite robust. Um, it's not going to make you rich. It's not going to um, make any personal fortunes. It's not going to go to the moon or anything like that. So it's not one of those kind of um, coins that feels like it's a, a pyramid scheme. Um, it is, however, very vulnerable to rivals. It is very vulnerable to political conspiracy. Um, and obviously with the uh, Security and Exchange Commission um, using this as a test bed to decide whether it's going to uh, completely uh, overhaul the cryptocurrency um, ecology or whether it's going to allow it to come back into the race. Hence the racing metaphors that I've used out this video. Um, I just don't know. Um, I don't know whether you should go near it. Uh, I don't know whether you should avoid like the plague. Um, this is one's entirely up to you. I'm not going to advise you either way. I'm just presenting uh, my own personal analysis of what this uh, coin can do. Um, it might burn you. It might make you very, very um, happy to see it as part of the world um, currency system. Um, like I said, I don't know. Okay, so please leave comments down below which cryptocurrency you want me to. Um, hack away at next week with my uh, robust analysis techniques um, and I will see you next time.